What is up? We back. We at it again. This what is going. This is becoming a regular thing now, Tenshi man. It's uh, it's me and you holding it down once again, because fuck the haters. It's uh, it's Johnny Tenshi. We uh, we Yo. It, we we doing two plays, man. We doing two casts. <laughs> two, two casts. That's all you really need, man. We're saving the world. We we trimming the fat, man. We getting rid of all the extra unnecessary motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah, y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> yeah, if y'all listening to this, uh, I'm not just playing, right? I ain't gonna say no names, but you know you know who we talking to right now. Yeah, you know who we talking to. Uh, certain viral, viral motherfucker. Uh, hmm. <laughs> certain, I wonder who that is. Certain contagious son of a bitch. No, 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 man. Uh, we're not gonna go off on negative topics. Uh, first off, I'd like to, you know. Send my condolences out to fellow websites, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't miss those guys. Oh, uh, shit, I'm sure this ain't the last we'll see these motherfuckers. But in case you don't know who we're talking about, the website Spill.com, uh, the new reviews and audio reviews kind of gave us the inspiration to get started doing what we're doing. Yeah. So, man, they're, um, they're being forced to shut down. It sucks when you lose a job, especially around this time of year. So, yeah. shit. Just, uh... I don't know, man. Good luck with whatever it is y'all are doing. I'm sure this won't be the last we're seeing y'all. Yeah, I'm, my condolences to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm more than positive y'all gonna bounce back from this. That's, yeah. I, I'm just waiting for some more content from you guys. Right. I know it's gonna happen. Right. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. But uh, I don't know. We know we're not trying to bring this shit down. No, we're not trying no, to bring this no, podcast no. Down, so let's, and, uh, and they weren't bringing it down. You know, when they were when they were speaking about it and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So it's not the end for them. I've seen, we'll see him again. Got you, man. But uh, what's been up with you there, Tichi? Dude, I've had a busy weekend, dude. Got busy. Yeah, I saw. Man, I've man. seen two movies this weekend. Two, man. Yeah. What, what shit, man? I guess yeah. Two movies and one, two whole movies in one weekend, man. You, two uh, blockbuster movies I seen in one weekend. Uh, in case you didn't pick up on the sarcasm, there. Two movies ain't that much, dog. You know what? I'm just saying, man. Like, two movies is like, yeah, dog, man. I had a busy weekend, bro. I watched two movies, man. That's not the only thing I did. Like, I watched two. The fact that I had to go to the movie theater and pay, you know, like, oh, ten. That, that hits you hard in the wallet. That's what yeah. You, you know, but you said it was like, this was just the busiest fucking weekend, man. I had the most hectic fucking weekend, dog. I watched two movies, man. Can you I'm believe sorry. that shit? Two. Nah, man. Well, let me put it this way. The one thing that I wanted to do this weekend, was just sit and play uh, Final Fantasy or Realm Reborn. So why did you go see two movies, then? I have things to do. I have to mingle with the people. You have to mingle with the people? Yeah. I promise you, you ain't got to mingle with nobody. In fact, mingling is one thing that if, you, if you're not really into it, you probably should be doing, you know. I have a responsibility to my friends. That. Bullshit! You ain't got no goddamn responsibility. You ain't got responsibility. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. Unless, <laughs> <laughs> unless you gave birth to these motherfuckers, unless you are under the obligation by the state to take care of these motherfuckers, you ain't obligated to a goddamn thing, man. True. Yeah, you, know, you ain't got you know that responsibility nonsense, man. Them motherfuckers try to guilt you. I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah. Hey, 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 Johnny, you want to come out and see two movies this weekend? No. I want to sit at home and play Final Fantasy. He's like, well, come on, Johnny, man. You have responsibility. Man, my brother, like, I, you don't pay my bills. You don't write me a paycheck. I got no guy. Like, I, I am under no obligation. I will catch y'all motherfuckers next time. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You, you got to change the language you use there, man. It's like, it's responsibilities, man. I did get a lot done, though. I am happy about that. Hey, man. I got to see those two movies that I wanted to see. Um... Got to watch a few more anime. Got caught up in an anime called Kill a Kill. Check that out. You mentioned that last time. Yeah. We're going to have to talk about that on the podcast one day. Have you watched any of it yet? Nope. Okay. okay. So we're not talking about that shit tonight. No, we're not. But um, Continue. Yeah, I'm just saying, uh, that's what's up, man. I keep seeing the pictures on Facebook, man. You, uh, you, I saw you with, at the Renaissance Fair. I do up with some cute little white girl, man. I was like, look at Tenchi, man. This dude, She's... This cat, this cat got all... See the guy all spiffied up, man. Got his scarf on. Got his fucking beret and shit. Got his vest looking like the dad for Bill Cosby. Well, technically, she's Puerto Rican, so. Puerto Rican? Yeah. Nice, man. So, is this, is this your lady, man? Nah, she, to, she ain't mine. She's a good to, friend of mine, but you, she's not you know, mine. So, so, what's up, man? What's the deal, man? What you... 
Trying to make some. I mean, you got you. You got your whole new image now, man. Like, I, it's getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Yeah, no. Like I said, I haven't seen too many people that could pull off a sweater vest, but you you wear that shit well, man. You got the you got the like uh, <laughs> sophisticated. Like you look like a college professor or something. You know. You look okay. Like, yeah. I don't want to call myself a self hating hipster, but I kind of am. A self hating hipster. Yes. Okay, so explain to me what a hipster is. Cause I can see, hear that word thrown around. I don't really uh, feel like I got a good understanding of what that shit means. Actually, I'm going to put that. Uh, how do you describe a hipster? Okay. A hipster is somebody that basically... Ah, uh, see, that's making it a genre, though, and I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand what the fuck this Basically, is. I just decided not to... Um, go with the norm like like you know how you know how this no shade vember thing was going on oh yeah that then move vember right yeah everybody was like well you look you know what you were going the beard did you do it because of no shade vember no i just got bored one week and just decided not to cut it exactly. you know yeah i mean everybody does think you're following the trend down no. you know it's like yeah you know that shit out for uh move vember? no motherfucker <laughs> growing my shit out because I wanted to. Right. And that's what, that's what I'm telling people. Let me rephrase that. I am trying to... I'm not trying to be... I'm trying to be more trendy, actually. More trendy. I am trying to be more trendy. But son, this, this shit sounds like the opposite of what you just said. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. So it's, it's been a long week. So you're becoming a hipster by following trends instead of going against your I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Here's the thing, though. When I was a kid, I used to get laughed at, laughed at because my mom would, you know... Give me a scarf to wear to school. Ha ha, Vaughn's wearing a scarf. Now it's cool to wear a scarf. Like, nigga, well, his neck is cold, man. You know, yeah, yeah. ever since it got cold outside, you know, I felt like a nigga didn't want a cold neck no more. So, does that make me a fucking hipster? No, nah, that just makes me smart, man. What the, what, where the fuck is your scarf? I was, I was smart years ago, sadly. <laughs> Another thing. Uh-huh. You notice, okay, when I was younger, I always wanted to have like a, um, not, not really like a, like a mohawk that, that's all green colored. I wanted my hair. To, I wanted my hair to. I, okay. Okay. Go, no, go ahead. Bro. I kind of wanted to have the little mohawk thing going. Uh, yeah. So you, so you, you thinking about going? I knew that was never going to happen. Why? Why? Man? You, you, There's no way my parents would let me wear that. Now I see, you know, kids all, you know, all, mm-hmm. you know, color with with the little. You know, and I'm just like, you know what, my my nephew would rock one of the like the little shit. You mean when they shave the sides of their head and they just like it's got like I just a, wanted to do it once. It's, it's like a nappy motherfucking mohawk. Let me tell you, let me explain something about black hair. Black nah. people, the, the mohawk is a hairstyle that was not conceived for black people. I know that shit does not look right. That shit don't even seem right. It looks like you got like a a bike tire sticking <laughs> up out of your head, right? Like it looks like you got Schwinn going down the back of your fucking skull. Black black kids got big, weird shaped, bumpy heads anyway. I mean, you don't want to <laughs> fucking draw attention to that shit. I mean, like if if my if I had a kid, if I had a son, he told me he wanted a mohawk. Shit, I would just laugh at his little ass. I'm like, where are you get a goddamn mohawk? Why? Because you got because you my son and you got my big head. My big bumps and shit, and you're not gonna look right with no goddamn mohawk. So that's why the fuck you're not getting the mohawk. And if he did come home with a mohawk one day, I'll wait till his little ass fall asleep and I will shave the rest of that shit off. <laughs> if, you, if you like that, if you like that, uh, like video cam, like a jackass, where they like follow the guy with the, with the shit, <laughs> tell me be dark, turn the light. Um, he ain't about to embarrass me. Even more so than the actual um, mohawk, I wanted to grow hair from. I told my parents in high school. Can okay. I grow up here? You're not going to take care of your afro. What shit, man? At, at the point you, you reach high school, man, fuck them. It's your head. You can do what the fuck you want. Not in my house. Uh, not in my see, house. we not, we not going to get into uh, yeah. uh, bringing, but yeah, I mean. Well, and I'm going to leave it with this. Now, when I'm old enough to wear, you know, they don't care what I do with my hair for the most part, my hair doesn't grow like that anymore. <laughs> My hair started receding in high school, so yeah, the chance like, I had is gone. Well, life's a bitch like that, but the thing about it is, man, if you had grown an afro and then your hair started receding in high school, that would have just been more obvious. You look like Bozo the Clown or some shit. Yeah. So I guess it's a good thing. I mean, then I would have cut it, though, but... Yeah, but... See, I've always thought about different hairstyles and shit, but I realized that I, I just... Yes, I could get my... You know, I could grow my hair out, I could get yeah. braids, I could do yeah. do whatever... But 
I don't really want to spend the time on upkeep on that shit. And I've realized that now. Now that I'm older, I'm like, you know what? I don't need hair. It's like the nigga got, he's like, yeah, I could, uh, you know, get myself some some nice cornrows, some reds or some shit. But uh, I could also do a lot of better things with my time. I could also be making me some money, you know. Plus, I cosplay. I can always just put on hair, you know. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You can get out. Hey, you man. Get, get, out. Get, get out. It's my house, man. You can get out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Kick me out of my goddamn house. You know, I live here, you know. But nah, man. Speaking of living, I, I'm trying to segue this as best as I can. Oh, okay. Go ahead with the segue, man. Um, so there was a there was a character uh, a couple of weeks ago that was on a show that had got killed off. And I had been telling people, I was like, give it a few weeks, he'll be back. Lo and behold, tonight, he's back. Do you know who I'm talking about? Do you happen to be talking about the dog from Family Guy? I sure am. You know what? Brian is back. I I heard a lot more about this damn dog dying than I really cared to hear. Let me tell you, you know, and, you know, I'm not trying to knock anybody who's really that into Family Guy or that into really that into any TV show. To be perfectly honest, mm. the thing about it is, man, at the end of the day, Brian is a cartoon character. Right. A fictional character. Right. So, if you kill some a fictional character off and, the, you know, people don't like the shit, it is not that difficult to resuscitate a fucking fictional character. Thank you. Thank Have you, you ever heard uh, Seth, uh, what is his name? Uh, not Seth, I keep wanting to say Seth Rogen. Not Seth Green, is that the dude? Mm-hmm. The, uh, Seth MacFarlane. Seven Farlane's the guy that does Family Guy. He yeah, Seth MacFarlane, the guy who does the voice. Mm-hmm. He does voice Brian. That's like his natural voice. Exactly. I was like, have you ever heard him talk? He sounds like Brian. Sounds just that like That is Brian. the easiest voice for him to do. Right. <laughs> so, like... And okay. he's pretty much like the character that's like... That's the character that he, I guess, would be his avatar in, in Family Guy. Because so, he so kind of pushes his, his political views toward... I mean, you know, from Brian. So, so what you're saying is Seth MacFarlane is racist. That's interesting. I didn't say everything. Oh, okay, well. I said it's political views. Okay, but anyway, no, yeah. I mean, we're not going to get into that. It's just like, I don't know why people are spending so much time or so invested in fiction. People are freaking out. I'm just like. In, in, a, in a fictional fucking talking dog. Okay. But like, um, I don't know. I've heard I've heard stories about people like, uh, you ever uh, go on FML.com? Yeah. Yeah, there was a fmylife.com. Like, there was an FML where a kid got into, like, a straight-up fight at school. Like, had, had shit thrown at him, got bullied. Mm. Because, uh, what did he say? He disagreed with somebody's opinion on... Uh, he, somebody was telling him that uh, Brian being killed on Family Guy was part of a plot by the Illuminati. And <laughs> he called... He called like no, no, no. Y'all can't see my face now, but what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody, you know, this is this is high school, so or middle school. I'm not sure. It doesn't really specify which, but this is like a, you know, secondary school, you uh-huh. know, and uh, secondary. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this motherfucker came up with the theory that yeah, motherfucker, I think Obama killed Brian from Family Guy, man. See, they want to distract you from what's really going on, and and well, this- a, and and a person who was writing this FML was like, he, he called that shit out for the stupid shit that it was, right? And for some well, reason, this was high school, so they they, they beat his ass. Cause <laughs> see, at least at least when I was a kid, you used to get beat up because you said something that was, you know, out of line. You, you call somebody out on on something like you know something about them personally or their family. They beat the crap out of you. Yeah. See, nah, but no, nah, you nah. beat somebody up over a character. Yeah, when kids are getting hazed over stupid shit like this, I mean, it's just like. Dude, come on, man. Like, okay, if you really care that much about the dog from Family Guy dying, you are entitled to that fucking opinion. You know, I, you know, I don't get it. Yeah, don't push you know. it on the rest of us. No, I don't. I don't get it. But you can have a. You might. You might just have a strong emotional attachment to Brian from Family Guy. But the, I like the, Brian. The, but the moment you start allowing that shit to affect real life, yeah. I mean, you you done, you done, you done lost touch. You 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 you, you missed the point, man. You going about your business, Brian? Brian could come back. Yeah. Brian's a cartoon. He, All this is going to take for Brian to come back in some pen and some motherfucking paper. It's not like it's The Walking Dead when somebody gets knocked off there. That's it. Brian's a cartoon character, as you said. They could easily recon him back. Yeah, let me tell you something about The Walking Dead. The what? Walking Dead is fiction, too. Yeah, I know. So so if somebody dies on The Walking Dead... Oh, you're going to bring somebody back from being a zombie. That actor is not dead. 
actor could come back. That, that motherfucker could just as easily be his long lost identical twin that you just never they never mentioned up until now. I wish they would do that. <laughs> nah, I mean, see, I really, I seriously haven't kept up with any of those TV shows. Like, I'm sure The Walking Dead is good. I'm sure Breaking Bad is good. Breaking Bad is supposed to be phenomenal. There's a lot of TV yeah. that I've missed out on. And the thing about it is, I, I look at those shows and I look at shows that are, have run for multiple seasons that mm. I'm told I need to watch. I look at that in the same way that I look at RPGs that I haven't played. You know, it's just like, yeah, I'm sure that uh, I could get into this. I'm sure I'd like it. But uh, I just would rather invest the time elsewhere. I'd rather not in, even... It's a huge in, investment of time. Yeah, I'd rather not even start because I know that if I start, I'm going to feel compelled to finish. And I just, I would rather spend my time doing other things right now. Right. Which now that Breaking Bad is over, I can actually, like... Go ahead and breeze through that and be done with it sooner. But well, shit, man, I, I want to watch Breaking Bad, but the niggas always at work right mm-hmm. now. So, I mean, yeah. I feel like I'm about to break bad at, at the store. You know, it's like one of these bitches trying to... Insert song. Yes, uh, boss nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you should just insert the song right now. But anyway. It's like, you know, just, just wild out on that chicken. Yeah! Oh, shit, I'm almost sitting there. Mm-hmm. I'm that shit out. I did that shit out, but not. Yay. Just wild out, wild out in the chick at the store and just like, chick mess around and uh, don't buy something after fucking up like multiple parts and like just start pulling shit off the shelf and shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know what? I'm just going to leave. I don't want anything. Like, oh, you don't want anything? Let me tell you something. Just go Terrence Howard straight. Terrence Howard and bitch. Bitch, let me tell you something, man. Oh, I got to I got to do it. <laughs> you got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm tired of your shit today. T- tired of your shit, bitch. You about to get fucked up. If I ask you to mess with my store, you can get the fuck out. Bitch, you must not know who the fuck I am. Hey, ask him who the fuck I am. You know what, bitch? Let me play you the theme song real quick. <laughs> yeah, but now... Uh, yeah, man. It's just like... Okay, I'm sure these shows are good. And I you know... Eventually, when I have more free time in my life, I probably will go back and catch up. You right. know, that's the beauty of the internet and the beauty of Netflix and shit like that. Stream online streaming services and shit. Right. I could go back and watch this shit whenever I feel like. You know, it's just <laughs> there. By the time I do, there will be like at least two or three other series I just got to watch. You know. Yeah. It's a vicious cycle, man. Can't get sucked in. Don't let yourself get sucked in, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Man. Hold on. I'm just saying. I just thought about something else that happened this weekend. <laughs> well, what else happened this weekend? So, we were, um, cause, uh, the, the, you know, the Lolita group, they had to get together here and be on. Um, right, right. It ended up at uh, my friend's house. I'm gonna withhold and, uh, my comments until the end. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. It ended up at my friend's house. They, they went and played, um, Cards Against Humanity and, uh, some of the other rest of us went in the room. Like, so we're gonna watch. And one of my fr- friends suggested, uh, Dragon Ball Z. So I was like... That's the, that's the group you run with, yes. Right. Yes, indeed. Granted, this, this was like two, two other girls in the room. You know, that's what the watch is. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll see you that's, that, that's the group you run with. Yes, yes, continue. You, you know what? Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, just call, I'm calling a spade a spade. So we're watching the Cell Saga. We're watching the episode. That, like, that, that's the worst saga. What? You can get out. No, no, fuck that. Cell, that Cell Saga, that Android Saga, that was the weakest motherfucking saga, bro. We were just watching the fight scenes. I like the fight scenes from uh, from that season. Nah, it's all about the magic boo baby. Let's do it. Yeah. So you didn't like you like Cell being all British and a you know, troll. And Cell wasn't British. Cell was a troll. Cell was very much a troll. Cell 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 was a gay troll, but he was part female, so I mean, he's at least a third female. So I, I guess I would. Wait, who are this? Okay, I know you had I know you had Goku. Vegeta, Frieza. No, I'm just talking Gohan. about the two androids here. Man. Oh, oh. Mm. I don't count that. That was the main thing that powered him up. That was just a power up. He, all right. Okay, nah, but when he absorbed the chick, he became pretty femmy. You know, he had the makeup on, he had his, like, pink contact lenses in, and his fucking foundation on and shit. So he just. Okay, all right. I mean, yeah, he, 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 would, he, he, was, he would pirouette a lot more. He would, he would spin a lot. He was a lot more graceful once he absorbed 18. That, that, yeah, right. yeah, no, that happened. Right. Go back and watch it. Right. Motherfucker is literally skipping on rocks right. while he's fighting Vegeta, man. Just... Vegeta deserved that. <laughs> Vegeta totally deserved that. How you tell? Okay, so how see, you tell me? Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Well, nah, man, you about to go into a fucking like a series that has been ended for how long now? About twenty years now, thirty. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it hasn't been over that long. But... <laughs> 
Yeah, this is like okay. It was 1989. Really? I'm not even joking about that. Yes. Well, well, 1992 or three, something like that. But uh, Tenchi, man, I don't know if you know this, but we old as shit, dude. We get we getting up there, dude, man. Granted, we didn't see that till like 2000. I remember the day we like, yeah, man. I remember when it was 2000. Yeah. Cause I remember watching the Freezer Saga, like, cause for the longest they would just loop, like, in the middle of the Ginyu, like, when the Ginyu Force showed up, they looped they, twice. They, that would just be the end. It's like they oh, looped twice. The, yeah. Like, what the fuck happens? <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> they were back up so long. We're just like, oh! <laughs> like you know, uh, nah, they just showed up. It was aliens, man. They had scouters. What the fuck was going to go? How 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 was the gang gonna get to this? Is Goku ever gonna get to the planet? What's gonna happen? And then it's just like back to episode one. <laughs> yeah, that happened twice. It, it happened twice, and then Funimation took over Ocean Dove's uh, thing. Bro. And and Vegeta started sounding constipated. You know? I, I like Ocean Dove Vegeta. That's my favorite Vegeta. I like him. Yeah, exactly. when he had like the high pitched voice and shit. When he sounded like Tiger, the one from It's Over Nine Thousand. When he sounded yeah, like when he that. sounded like um, the guy from Monster, the Tiger, the one from Monster Ranch. I don't know if you remember that show much. Yeah, I vaguely. Recollect what that show is, but I it was the same voice. Kind of, Ask me to remember anything about it, and it's just like that's one of them shows. That you remember the you remember the wolf looking creature, the blue wolf? No, I don't, okay. because I was never fully awake when I was watching Monster. <laughs> Monster. Let me tell you something about Monster. Right now. Early as heck. In the that was that was one of those shows that came on at like four thirty, five o'clock in the morning when I was in high school, and I'm a late, I'm, I'm a slow riser. Like I wake up slow in the morning. So I just put the TV on to have some noise while I got ready and brush my teeth and shit. I was never fully focused. That's that's the same condition I watched Sailor the Moon in, you know. So yeah. ask me something about Sailor the Moon, I was like, Well, these chicks are kinda hot. And I think I like the one with the red mini skirt the best. Ray. I keep telling people Ray Ray's <laughs> Ray's the best one. It's like I think I like the one with the red mini skirt the best, but ask me the plot of any Sailor Moon episode and or ask me the voice of any character or anything about Sailor the Moon other than the fact that there there were a bunch of skimpy chicks in like different Multicolored mini skirts. I couldn't tell you shit about it. Insanely tall, like the way they're drawn, taller than me. Like the shortest one. I'm just like, wait, what? Well, no, they they weren't draw tall. They, I don't think they were that tall. They were just skinny and slender than them over. It was just like it, it was deceptive the way they were drawn because it looks like with their legs being that long, they would be. But no, they right. they just they weigh fifty five pounds a piece. That's 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 all it is. They regular height. They just anorexic. Right. Yeah, but um. But anyway. And their heads make take up like a third of their body mass. You know it's <laughs> Serena, anyway. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, but um, nah, what, what were we talking about? Oh, man, we're I don't know. About, you know. You're talking about Dragon Ball Z. This is Dragon Ball Z, sorry. Yeah. We're, we're talking about Brian coming back. Um, mm-hmm. We're talking about Spill going away. For okay. Well, yeah. Um, I do know one thing you want to talk about. What's that? You want to talk about our misadventures and. Um, Oh shit! Troop. Uh, let, me, let me tell you something. You, let listen me, up, people. Let me, actually, let me tell you what. Turn, even, turn, the, turn the podcast up. Let, let me tell you what even uh, brought this on, man. Uh, Louisiana weather is fickle, especially around this time of year. Yeah. You can never really tell what you're gonna get when you walk outside until you walk outside. Some days you walk out thinking it's gonna be cold and motherfucker, you bundled up, you got your scarf on, you got your fucking parker in your hoodie and shit. Right. You're like, yeah, man, I'm ready for it. Bring it on. You go outside, you get hit with a blast of hot air, and <laughs> you're like, cool. She's like, yeah, man, that shit just like you, you, you just start sweating as soon as you walk out the house. And other times, man, it was it, it was it was 85 degrees yesterday. I know. And I know. <laughs> and you walk out thinking it's about to be 85 degrees today, man, and you mm-hmm. walk outside and you're fucking. Like, you get frostbite and shit, your fucking nipples get hard as a motherfucker as soon as you open your house door, man. So, like, so so now I just walk outside buck naked. Just to check, yeah. Just to check, and it's like, oh, shit, I gotta go put on some... Uh, like, you test the temperature by how cold you are. <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying? But, um, no, I mean, it's cool, because, uh, you know, I got, I got a you know, school bus pickup right outside my door, so uh, now I'm on a couple of lists now, you know. Huh. Yeah, you know, a couple of watch lists and shit like that, you know. So, really? You know, you walk outside butt naked in front of kids. Oh, you know, Lord. And we know what kind of went over your head. It's, it's cool. Are we supposed to be talking about this on the podcast? Hey, anyway, my brother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Well, basically, my point is uh, Louisiana weather is fickle. It never really gets that cold here. I tell you, we don't have seasons. We have days. 
Yeah, it never. It usually doesn't get that cold here, but in the last, I should like week and a half, two weeks, mm. we have it's had been just all a, over the place. We just no, we've had a run of just really fucking cold. Like it was below freezing one night. It was like 20, it, was, it was below freezing for like three nights. It was like twenty three degrees and shit. You yeah. know, and and I I still have to wake up at like four thirty every morning, get ready, and go out and be at work for six. You know, mm. so getting you know getting used to that cold. It just that the cold, the the fucking, I had to go get the fucking uh, spandex, the long johns and shit. Right, right. Because I got a work uniform that's basically a t-shirt, and I don't know if you've ever worn a t-shirt in wintertime, but that shit don't really, uh, don't, yeah. that don't brace you against the elements like you really need to be braced against the elements, man. Right, I usually wear an undershirt underneath, but still. But yeah, no, nah, I would wear, usually wear an undershirt too, but that undershirt wouldn't, the wind, don't was, do nothing, the yeah. wind was cutting through that shit like it wasn't shit, man. It was like, it was like the wind was. What the fuck is that? Is that a is that a white beater? The fuck, you think this is a game? <laughs> she just like <laughs> just like. <laughs> Damn. Just wind, <laughs> just be cutting you, man. Wind be, yeah, you, you, I felt like you know, people. That is a common saying that like the wind was cutting into you. But I literally felt like the wind had a sword and was like fucking cut slashing my ass, man. Super like, super damn thing. You start yeah. playing in the background. Damn. 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 Shit, man. Every time the wind blew, I was just mad as a motherfucker. You ever been so cold that you started talking to yourself? Yeah. That's, that's just I like, think we've all done that not, at some th- point. That's how cold I was while I was at work. I'm sitting there trying to be friendly and shit, trying to, you know, provide good customer service and shit. But all I can think is, fuck, it's cold. That's why, just, that's why I do low bar. Like, I'm just, I'll, I'll text him and be like, man, flip is hot outside. He's just like, What? <laughs> shit man I was just like I'm like walking outside we got a you know buggies you know across the parking lot and shit I'm just going to push I go walk outside my building just to go get the carts and push them back to the side of my building and walk back inside and the whole time I'm doing that I'm thinking just like fuck 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 it's bullshit man and don't let it be raining shit, shit don't it, it was raining one time when I did it it's like man bitch they don't pay me a goddamn enough for this shit you know what I got other jobs I got options man maybe I need to go ahead and just fucking move on I can just walk away I can just walk away you know what you know how many times I have thought had that thought since I've had this job he's like yeah every time something fucked up happens every time something is just like really I could just leave I think about it every once in a while I could just walk away man I could just walk away. I could just get in my car and drive, <laughs> and never look back. What the fuck they gonna do? They will never find me. <laughs> I could just leave. <laughs> I could just go home, pack my shit, and be gone tomorrow. But uh, no, nah, I digress. It was one of those. It was one such time when I was, um, you know, hit with that kind of bitter mm-hmm. cold and having to like be exposed to the shit and deal with the shit. That I, you know, it made me think back on the last time that I had to deal with shit like that. And, um, actually, you were there the last time I had to deal with that shit. I sure was. Yeah, so, um, yeah, man, um, made me think about, uh, back when, back in the old days when we were just wee lads, you know, we were were young bloods. When I was like, when I was like 4'3 or something like that? Yeah, you wasn't 6'4 yet. You was like, you was like 5'2 at that point, man. Because, um. You ain't never been four or three. You came out of your, you came out your mom's at five, at five feet. You know, like you you been a big motherfucker ever since I knew you. you know? <laughs> but uh, this I, I I don't know if I told you this, but there's a video of me and you chasing each other with balloons for one of my sister's birthdays. I don't know if you do about that. Shit, man, that sounds like some shit I would do. We were in a, we were in like a McDonald's chasing each other with with a, uh, and I think it was the one off of Greenville Springs Road. If I'm not mistaken. Since you're not telling me anything that surprises me, you could have. That, that sounds like some shit that could have easily happened last year. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like, shit, yeah. See, y'all laughing, y'all listen to this, but no, that, that, shit, yeah, man. that yeah, could happen yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, 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 no, right? You let me be in a McDonald's and somebody splashed some water on me. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Bitch, it's on now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, yeah. We, y'all kids cut that out. We're like 30. Oh, okay. Kids, how dare you? <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> I'm a grown man. Yeah, take this balloon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyway. But, uh, nah, man. Uh, yeah, man. You remember fucking uh, Troop 127, dude? 127. Oh, yeah, man. man. Those of you that know, don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Boy Scouts. Well, yes, right. Boy Scouts of America, that gay shit that you always, that you, you know, you never let your mama talk you into back in the day. Yeah, guess what? We did that shit. We sure did. And we came out better people because of it. Came I think out so. better. Exa- that shit built mad character, son. I think so. 
ha- totally having to so. go out and deal with that shit. I totally think so. See, y'all kids. Are, I became a, I became a, I became a man. Y'all kids are sports. See, when you say it like that, man, you make it sound like something that wasn't supposed to be happening. It like wasn't that. like that. Okay, yeah, I'm just saying. You know, Boy Scouts already has a kind of reputation. Yeah, you're you know? right. Uh, you know, excuse really, what I said. You really don't want to. Excuse what I said. We don't want to put ideas in people's heads. That's all I'm saying. Right. Because, uh, yeah, motherfuckers would be quick to talk. Oh, shit, I knew that nigga was gay. I knew, I knew these motherfuckers. This is like, yeah, no, you know what? Let me rephrase what I said. I learned a lot. I got a lot of experience. From let that. me tell you something about. Those of y'all who think Boy Scouts is just like, yeah, we we just we wear the short shorts and shit, and we fucking, you know, we all we do is go, <laughs> all we do is go out and sell popcorn and shit. Let me tell you something about Boy Ooh. Scouts. That shit is real shit. I've seen motherfuckers die. Yeah. You motherfuckers. That freaking lake, that lake in Avondale. You know, what I'm, go ahead. Continue. Okay, okay, continue. but nah, man. Yeah, yeah. The last time I remember seeing my breath, you know, the last time I remember just being outside exposed to that type of harsh shit. And just having to deal with it. Just be like, yeah, you know what? We, like, most people, when they get cold, it's like, oh, fuck it. I just go inside. It's warm inside, right? Well, you know, there is no inside, bitch. No. There's no way you can go. There's a tent. Inside is like... The same it, the same it, degrees, yeah. No, inside is 50 miles away. The closest inside is inside a fucking cabin. And guess what? That shit ain't fucking insulated. No. And so, that shit is just as cold as outside. You might as well... You know what, man? It, Sometimes even colder than that. Back in them days, man, you you know what you had? You had a campfire. You had a fire. Yeah. And yeah. What the thing most people don't understand about campfires is uh, when you sit around a campfire, you are warm on the front. Yes. Your and, back is still and your cold, back cold. is and your back is cold as shit. And so, if you want a warm back, you have to turn your ass around. And then you have a warm back and a cold front. <laughs> so, all of you is never warm at the same time. Mm-hmm. And if you get, so, so if you get if you get closer, then your back can be warm, but then your front is hot because you you're on uh, fire. Yeah, you, you're almost in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you're never comfortable. You know that's and that's the thing. That's that's the feeling that you have. That that is literally the feeling you have when you're out in the wild and out in the woods and shit. These kids nowadays. You, know. you just you're not ever really comfortable. You're always kind of on edge. But to me, that shit prepares you for life. You know. Yeah, I, we'll survive the zombie apocalypse because it's Boy Scouts. Sometimes I think. You know, I don't know about that. Man. I hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, you know what I'm saying I don't know if Boy Scouts is prepping you for zombie survival. There was no Walking Dead merit badge. Yeah, you know? I don't think the zombies would be that impressive. If I tied a square knot, you know, and just yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, cool. <laughs> just pull out my pocket knife and shit. That's right. This is a multi-tool, son. Yeah, just get my ass eaten off. Yeah. But, uh... It was a cool knife. <laughs> 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 hey, the zombies are making comments and shit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. These are some, uh, some, some higher-thinking zombies. That's what's up. Um... Excuse me, I, I had to take a sip of my drink there real good. quick. Yeah. I told people they need to go ahead and kill me if I'm if I'm going to turn or something. Because I'm pretty much going to be the equivalent of a tank in Left 4 Dead. I don't know if you ever played that game. I have played Left 4 Dead. Yeah. You know what? I don't, I, don't want, I don't want people to experience that. I agree, man. Motherfucker, if I see you get bit, you're the first motherfucker I'm taking out. Bro. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Shit, man. Like, you are way too, you are far too big. I don't think you understand how big you are, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like, what does like, that mean? See, look, nah, see, I can't, I can't have that shit. You have been fucking... Tenchi, as a zombie, that, that shit horrifies me. You know why? Because I've dealt with drunk Tenchi before. And I've, I've dealt with Tenchi when, when Tenchi was first starting to drink. And so, you oh, have yeah. just inadvertently just like, you, you weren't really even trying to start shit or anything. You just like, doing the drunk person lean on somebody. He's like, hey, what's up, dude? And you would just put your hand on my shoulder and all that way would come crashing down on me and my knees would start to buckle and shit. was like, hold the fuck up. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is it? <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> like... You had a nigga feeling like, you remember Tom and Jerry when like fucking yes. they got smashed by the bowling ball and shit and fucking accordion? You accordion my ass one time when you was first starting to drink, man. You just like, what's up, Johnny? Like fucking slapping the nigga. You did, you did mess me over that second one, though. You put way more in there than I was, than I was expecting hey, it to be. You know what, man? You'd be like, here, yeah, start with this one. Oh, this is good. Here's another one. Put like half the bottle in there. It's like, oh. But nah, because you was talking shit. That's, that's, that's what happens when you talk shit. He's like, Oh yeah, this is good. I barely even taste it. 
Johnny, let me get another one. I didn't even feel that shit. Oh, you didn't feel that shit, did you? Well, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking... Yeah, you gonna call yourself... Call- and then that song from uh, from Yoshi's Eyes start playing. <laughs> Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, man. Man. Anyway. Nah, man. It's just like, yeah. Because you like, you shouldn't have been talking that shit, basically. You know? So, um, I'm going show this motherfucker. I call myself pouring you a Coke and whiskey, man. I pour... Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Splash of Coke. <laughs> Just a little flavor. <laughs> there you go, there, Titchy. So then I don't, they bad, don't you, they? Yeah, shit, I watched that big motherfucker just like, just like I, I watched it happen. I was just like, you you just started fading. Like, he was just like, yeah, this is good, John. Like, cause you know, when you drunk, you don't taste shit. You know, he's just like. Shit. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Your taste buds go numb. No, shit that. That they normally, if you were completely sober, would just be like, yeah, maybe I better leave this one alone. When you drunk, damn, this shit is good as a motherfucker. Yeah. And you just start drinking, you don't realize how fucked up you're getting. It. I know something about me nowadays. Mm-hmm. I notice whenever, <laughs> whenever I get like to a certain point, my shirt automatically comes off. Thank God I'm usually wearing an undershirt underneath. Really? You yeah. Just, you're that guy. You're I get, I start burning up hot. And people don't realize that. Like, I, I get, I get hot quick when I drink. So, certainly to come on. You know what, man? I get hot when I drink sometimes too. But um, usually, I'll keep my shirt on. The thing about me when I drink, everybody has their own little things that, thing thing that, that they, they do. do when yeah. Drink. When I drink, I used to start using a bunch of big words that I don't normally use. <laughs> you do do that. I really do. I just, I know, I notice myself doing that shit. It's like. <laughs> Did I just say elocution? <laughs> I don't know, okay. I think I've had enough. Uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, Johnny's breaking out four syllable. You start words, looking right? at the bottle like, mm, put it down. This is this is a this is a truly eclectic uh, intoxicant right now. You said that one day at the party. I was like, <laughs> what? It's like, let me tell you something, man. Um, you're dealing with an inebriated individual right now. See, I have. Uh, <laughs> I've surpassed the point of uh, <laughs> blood toxicity. <laughs> it's always fun, though. It's always yeah, fun. But, uh, but no, man. Back to the boys, guys. Oh, shit, Dad. We were talking about this shit, weren't we? <laughs> always on a tangent. Shit, man. Uh, this podcast is tangents, man. <laughs> I think people like uh, that, this, That's one big... Yeah, but nah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, man. Last time I remember, you know, that made me think specifically about the first time you went camping with us, man. Because um, your first camping trip, everybody... Uh, Think about Boy Scouts. Is, Boy Scouts is a lot like the military. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of structure, a lot of rules and shit. You know, you got a lot of fucking protocols. You got to follow a lot mm. of codes and conduct and shit, you know. A lot of uniforms and shit. Mm. But really, you know, the thing that makes it the most like the military is the fact that if you're a new blood, you got to go through initiation. Oh. That's right. You remember You remember your hazing, man? Ah. Uh. Every, everything's kind of hazy from the days. I remember that's bits because, and pieces. That's because you traumatized by that shit. You blocked it out. What, I, you what, know, John, I blocked a lot of things out of my life. I realized. But, well, you know things what, started to come back, and I'm just like, what well, tonight? What have I done? T- tonight you're gonna relive it, man. Mm-hmm. Because we uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, the, the the experience, the wonderful experience, Tinchy's first camp out BSA Troop One Twenty Seven back <laughs> in the day. Before we do that, Johnny's gonna pour himself another drink, and we're gonna take a break. Okay. So, um, I want another drink too. Yeah, you know. So when we get back to that shit, we'll uh, we'll cover Tenchi's, uh well, young Tenchi back when he was only five three and not six four. That. Ah, uh, yes, the saga continues. The saga continues. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, it makes me sad. Uh, man, you ain't got time. You ain't got time uh, to be sad, motherfucker. Whoa. We talking about BSA Troop One Twenty Seven, oh, the OG, the OG crew, the old days, man. Motherfuckers was real back when when boys were boys and men were men, and sure. boys to men was actually still a music group back then. And this is true. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, but now nah, some man. kids now going who? Get out. Yeah, you know what. Kids, go go educate yourselves and yeah. then come back and listen to this podcast. If you don't know who Boys to Men is, well, you listen to some Inner Road. Some who? Inner Road. Was that song? Shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I listen to that shit. Though. You know you listen to that song. We all do. Yeah, but anyway, mm. yeah, BSH one twenty seven. See, 
this cold weather, all this cold weather and shit was reminding me of your first camp out, man, because, um, you know, everybody gets hazed their first camp out, but I feel like you got, you got it pretty bad the first time you went out. The first time, like, most of the time when you're getting hazed and people are fucking with you, it's not 29 degrees outside. I remember exactly what the temperature was because we had, like, fucking, uh, we, we camped near a lake and shit, and it was, there was ice. Like, the whole top of the lake wasn't frozen, but they fucking had ice. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And, uh, your motherfucking ass forgot your sleeping bag that, that camp on trip. I thought we would get supplies, sleeping bags. I didn't know. First camp out, I was like, well, I guess, I guess you do. No, no, Tiggy showed up, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm gonna come camp with you. That's cool, so do I need to bring anything? But, yeah, Tiggy, man, you need to, you know, we, we got equipment, you know, you just need to, you know, right. Sure Make sure you make sure you got what you need, man. Just go in the cabin and make sure you got everything you need. And uh, little did he know that uh, we don't bring extra sleeping bags. We bring exactly what the fuck we was gonna use. So everybody else had their own sleeping bag, but uh, Tenchi, you know, Tenchi didn't bring a sleeping bag. Like they said, Tenchi, we got you, you know. But uh, what what you had to do was you had to actually go and go in the pantry, get one of the sleeping bags that we had, and bring that shit with you. So you could use it, but uh, it was just there was poor communication back in the day. We was too busy, you know, being the bosses that we were. And right. We, we all had our own shit to do. Like we was all trying to get all. Cause hey, we, you were you was you were a eagle scout by that time. I by the time I joined. No, I wasn't. I wasn't an eagle scout by the time you joined. I was because you joined when I was. Uh, I was young. I wasn't tenderfoot, maybe. I wasn't tenderfoot. You were above you. you I were, think I was like a. I was second class. You were. It wasn't eagle. I'm sorry. You were. You were right below white class. What is that? Shit. Man. Whatever. Whatever was like below white class. Anyway. Shit, I mean, like if you would ask me to try to tell you some shit about Boy Scouts right now, man, I would just be shit out of luck. I would, just, you know, I feel like they would come take my merit badges if they knew how little I remember. You know about the different. The, yeah. the, the social hierarchy and shit, you know, the different shit that was going on in Boy Scouts, the different ranks and shit. Yeah. But, um, no, I've been doing it for a while with you. So, it's suffice it to say, you know, I, it wasn't my first camp out when it was your first camp out. Star Scout, maybe that's what you Never mind. Star continue. Scout? I don't know. Nah, nah, you're talking Sorry. about Sailor Moon. Man. Sorry, that continue. Was, that was the other recording uh, we were talking about, <laughs> about Star Scouts and shit. <laughs> right. But, no, I mean, uh, so, yeah, basically, um, since you on the cold, one of the coldest camp outs that we ever went on, Went out there without a sleeping bag. And, uh... To this day, I think that was the hardest night in my life. I remember seeing you uh, shivering, and I felt bad for you. I was just like, man, this dude don't even have, like... Because those sleeping bags, those those were some... Those were some real shit. Like, those was like, army-grade sleeping bags. Like, they yeah. really would keep the cold off your ass at night, you know? Yeah. I had a sleeping bag, and, like, I... You know, I... Like, my shit, like... I, I wasn't even cold at nighttime. I was cold when the first thing when I woke up in the morning. That shit, that that's the it's like jumping in a cold shower. You don't even want to get out the fucking sleeping bag, man. Right. But uh, yeah, man. Not only was this the coldest night of the year, but uh, it was still your first camp out, and uh, some of the older dudes was just like, "Yep, we got to break the newbie in. He's got to be initiated. He's got to pass the initiation. He got to become one of us." See, I think that was my, I think that was my start of darkness that day. I think that's when my alter ego started. Is that when it happened? It might be. <laughs> it might, it might not actually been my heart being broken. It might actually been that day. Well, damn, man, we we brought forth the monster, then. <laughs> that's your fault. But we'll, uh, we'll see where that goes. But anyway, but nah. So basically, initiation is broken down into three components, right? Okay, first off. We got to wait till night falls, you know, because uh, being in the woods ain't really that scary in the daytime. It can be, but really most of the time and when the sun's out, you know, you're good. You know, you can, you know the scoutmasters are around and shit. And nobody's asleep. There's always an adult nearby where you could fucking, if you, if you really feel, you know, you need to, you need, you need a safety net or something. You can go True. find some. Now nah, we got to, so we have to wait till night falls. We have to wait till the adults are asleep. Mm-hmm. We have to get you separated from the from 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 the group. We have to we have to cut the weak one out from the herd. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, bro, adults went to sleep. Why don't you come out with us in the woods, man? Yeah, we gonna uh, we gonna play some capture the flag, man. You gonna play some capture the flag, right? I ain't gonna lie, I had a bad feeling about that the entire time. <laughs> I was just like, 
It's probably a bad idea, but you know like, what? He's like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow. Rules, I know, so. No, you want to fit in, man. It's like, well, yeah. I guess, I guess I could play some capture the flag, man. You that know? was the day I learned not to fit in anymore. I said, "Fuck <laughs> that, man." He's like, okay, so sitting around the campfire, man. The whole initiation thing was like they were scared the fuck out of you, and they would leave you alone in the woods. Yeah, that was that was that was, that was their whole thing. You know, yep. we got pretty good at doing it. Because if you if you're a motherfucker who's not used to being in the woods, it's your first time in the woods. You don't really know the woods like that. No. And we, you know, we, though I am very good at making a general the, um, map of my head of where I am, even even when I don't know which direction I'm facing, in, I can kind of go by landmarks. But anyway, that's not that's not the but, point right now. I mean, yeah, you can go by landmarks. Not in the dark. If it's, if it's exactly if it's pitch black and you, all you got is a flashlight, you ain't making sense of shit. You know, so they they'll they'll watch your ass. They're not gonna just leave you there, but so they'll they'll be close by, but you won't notice it because it's pitch black. And uh, we always kind of went camping in the same two or three campsites, so these motherfuckers knew the shit. You know, they knew yeah. the terrain and shit. Yeah. So by uh, my third camping trip, I knew where we to go. Yeah. So uh, so basically, hey hey, Titchy man, uh, have you heard the story of Old Man Avondale? Who? Oh, you don't know about the old man? No. Was that? It's like, well, shit, man. No, let me tell you, man. Like, they, they're fucking, because we, we got good at building that shit up. We had, dude, we, I can't even remember that story right now. So you want to tell? You want to explain to me again? We, we added on to the story because oh, uh, really? Because it, it started out like it's like because because you were just like you know you doing stupid like what? Because this is how Slender Man got started. Continue. <laughs> but nah, you're bored. You're in the woods. You know, there's not a lot of shit to do. There's a campfire. You got a flashlight, so you shine. You shine your flashlight, and you start looking around and shit. And uh, you started shining your shit in the woods. You remember that? I don't and uh, it's like, I'm trying not to remember this right now, Johnny. <laughs> hey, but like, 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 you started uh, shining your shit. You just like you was like you know you, just, you know just fucking around, just shining your shit in the woods. And uh, and uh, one of the dudes is there, like, oh shit, dude, dude, what are you doing? Stop! Like, no, he like grabbed the flashlight. Like, dude, why was shining shit in the woods, man? Don't you know about old man Avondale? I know. The camping grounds we went to was called Avondale. If you can see my brain right now, <laughs> go ahead. So no, we just that's how they did it. They would catch you doing some, you know, some shit that doesn't really mean anything. They would just make you feel like you just, you done fucked up. Cause I was like, no, nah, no, nah, man, nah. yeah, old man Avondale. Let me uh, let me tell you the story, there, dude. Uh, all right, check it out. Just um, this camping ground. I don't know if you knew this, but there there was you know it's named after this old man named Avondale, right? And um, he was a he was a mean motherfucker. He was a cranky motherfucker, you know. And so he moved out in the woods. You know, he lived in the city, but he just hated people so much that he just moved out into the woods and started living alone. It was just him by himself, you know. And um, he had a dog, right? And so the people of the town were kind of happy when he left, you know, because you know he was an asshole. You know, they didn't really, you know, he really he just he was he hated people. Mm-hmm. So he just liked being by himself so much. He said, "You know what? I'm, I'm done with people. I'm gonna go move out into the woods." Well, about two years passed. People were kind of starting to forget about forget about him. You know, they felt like they were better off without him. And then his dog came back to the city. Oh, the dog came back by itself, and the dog was like, the, the dog was skinny, like his dog had, hadn't been eaten. You know, it's like, well, shit. What? I wonder what happened to the old man. Well, they, uh, you know, they they started sending out search parties. You know. And they uh, they went out, you know, looking for him. They sent out a search party looking for him, and uh, they never were able to really turn up, turn up anything. They found where they thought he was staying, but uh, yeah, they, they never actually found the old man himself. So uh, yeah, man. Um, they <laughs> I'm listening. It's like I haven't heard it before. I I really have pushed this from my mind, dude. A, I'm I'm f- kind of freaking out right now. And they were like, "Well, okay. I mean, I, it, it's it kind of sucks that you know he uh you know this this old man disappeared. You know he he was an asshole, yeah, but nobody deserves to die alone in the woods and shit. You know, so they they pronounced him dead and they went on about their business. Well, over time, the place the woods where he you know where they believe he was lost. They um uh, they went ahead and made that into you know they they didn't want to develop it they didn't want to create like malls and industrialize it so they preserved it as a as a, as a camping grounds mm-hmm. and so um I 
thing about this old man is he he really hated he he really hated people, but he really hated when people made a lot of noise and people carried on and shit. You know, he he really hated that shit. So one day there was a group of Boy Scouts, I mean, just like 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 us, you know, they were out in the woods, <laughs> and one of the guys, one of the kids, you know, he had a flashlight and he just started, you know, making a bunch of noise. He was just, you know. He's acting the ass, you know, making an ass of himself, you know, just, uh, yeah, just, just cause, you know. And he started shining his lights out in the woods, you know. He started, sh- he started shining his flashlight in the woods and in the campfire. Mm-hmm. And, um, sh- he, he just kind of, you know, swinging it around, you know, just, uh, you know, hitting different parts of the woods. And, uh, he shone his flashlight in, in, at, at one particular group of trees and he, he saw like a flash, he saw like a reflection. And he's thinking to himself, man, what's that? And um, so, you know, he swings his flashlight back, doesn't see anything. So he decides he needs to go investigate that. And uh, so he goes, you know, he doesn't go too far from the campsite. He just kind of, he just kind of goes out, you know. And, uh, you know, he had been making all this noise before, but now he's scared. So he's a little bit quiet, you know. Still shining his flashlight directly into the woods at nighttime, though, you know. And so, um. Uh, he starts walking off, and as soon as he gets a little bit away from the campsite, all all this all this other boy scouts all they heard was a scream, uh-huh. and they heard they heard it was a loud scream. The dude just you know, and they did the scream. I'm not gonna scream in my house and shit because right. I don't want the police to show up. But uh, it's like yeah, all they heard was a scream, and so his you know his, his fellow boy scouts you know his troop they. They ran out. They they was like, oh, what the fuck was that? They all they all ran out, mm-hmm. and they go out in the woods to go try to find where he's at. And all they see is this fucking flashlight, and the flashlight is stuck in the ground, just pointing at the woods. And so, you know, they 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 never did, you know, they never did find out what happened to that particular boy scout. But uh, legend say it was the old man. You know, he just doesn't. He doesn't really like it when people don't show the proper respect. He doesn't like it when people shine his flashlight in the woods, you know. So, you don't want anything to happen to you, man. So, that's that's why, you know, I didn't mean to scare you or anything. But, that's why we told you not to shine your shit in the woods and in the campfire. So, hopefully he didn't see that shit, man. But, but if he did, man, you kind of kind of done. Because, the cranky old man, he just, you know, he's been out here so, doing this for so long. He just doesn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so Titchy was like Titchy was it's like he got drawn into this shit, you know? Yeah. And you know, it's not working. He's trying he's trying hard Tom, not to shine this shit in the woods or Tom, in the campfire. Tom affected right now. <laughs> exactly. Tom these old stores. I, I really had pushed this from my mind. So I don't I don't want to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> so now nah, I mean like we, we 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 put that shit in his head and um uh, then he had to sleep. See, now you explain why I'm so messed up now. <laughs> but no, nah, you had to sleep that night. And the whole night you was probably up all night thinking the old man was coming to get you and shit. And, you know. You not to mention I was freezing. Not to mention you were freezing because you didn't have a sleeping bag. And so the next day, you're already tired. You probably, you know, you didn't get a good night's sleep. You're probably hallucinating and shit. So what do we do? We do what kids do when they when they out in the woods, man. We, we go out, we go explore shit. Because yeah, they're not. Nice there's really not shit else to do. We just, you know, like, let's go take a let's go walk. Let's go find see what we can find. Let's go find some shit. And we really weren't that far away when I think about it. It was like this little area that had like a um, I guess what was left of like a stream running through. Yeah, it, it had like, like this a little, ravine. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah like crevice and everything else. It was, it was kind of cool actually. Yeah, you know, we just exploring and shit. And one of the older boys, uh, not gonna, not gonna. Really I know, I know his name. Like but I'm not gonna say it. No. Yeah, one of the, one of the dudes, oh, that shit, fucking Donnie. Cause uh, you know, are you gonna put the boy out there? Well, nobody. Well, who cause nobody is. know who the fuck it is exactly. We well, you know who it is. But yeah, it was done. He um. He probably go hit like, What the fuck? But nah, this cat um. He was He decided he wasn't done fucking with Tenchi just yet. You know, Tenchi. You know, cause don't, he, don't get me wrong. I liked all my uh my uh, boy scout buddies for the most part, except that one person. You know, I don't say his name. But anyway, continue. I, think I know what you're talking. About. Yeah. Continue. Oh, 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 that motherfucker. That dude. Yeah, fuck Continue. Him. Fuck him. His anyway. old sister don't like him? Continue. Yeah, shit, shit, I don't... Anyway. Mm. But, yeah. So, we out in the woods. We just exploring that shit. And we decide we're not done fucking with Tenchi. It's like, you know, so... 
Like, hey, hey, man, no. Uh, I want to see. I want to say, man. I'm glad you made it last night, man. I'm, I guess the old man didn't see you, so you good, man. You probably, you probably all right. You know, we only gonna be here one more night, so you, you probably good, man. And then um, while while we were telling him, like we were leading Tenchi away, like and uh, <laughs> meanwhile I'm looking around. Yeah, Tenchi just kind of getting my surroundings to where the fuck Tenchi is already on full alert. Like this motherfucker's on red alert and shit. And it's like, yeah, shit, this motherfucker ain't about to get me and shit. Like, so we're telling Tenchi this. We we still feeding him like this, like this story about this old man. Granted, I'm like 12, 13 at, yeah. at the time. So but we're still feeding him this story. But uh, while we're doing this, one of the older dudes snuck off. Yeah. And um, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he uh he found a tree, and uh, what he did was he he found a tree. He had a pocket knife on him because we always do. Mm. And he carved Tenchi's initials, like first his first and last initial, into this tree, and then he carved like a like a X through it, you know, like a yeah. like a no sign or like you, you know what I'm saying. You remember the say no to drugs yeah. commercial where they had like the circle <laughs> with the line through it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he carved he carved Tenchi's initials and then carved one of those. And so I don't know when or how he did this shit so fast or when he did. He might have did it the night before. I don't know. Right. But we walk into the woods and shit. And uh, we could not have planned this. I don't know how this happened. But uh, it's like, you know, we still feeding Tenchi. Hey, man, um, I'm, I'm glad we, we glad you made it tonight. We glad, we, 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 glad, we glad you made it through the night, man, because uh, we was kind of worried when you were shining that flashlight in the woods and being loud and shit like that. But uh, it looks like you're good now, man. And then Donnie, like, we're walking through the woods. As we walk through the woods, Donnie goes, oh, shit. And everybody's like, what? what? He's like, Tenchi, look. And, uh, <laughs> and so we get to this tree where this dude is carved, uh, you know, Vaughn's initials and shit. Um, and we look, and it is like, there's a clearing of trees, right? There's, there's, a, bunch of, there's a bunch of different trees. It's the woods and shit. But there's this... There's a dead tree. It's it's dead from the from the ground, yeah. like from the base to the top. There's no branches and no leaves. I remember that tree. And this motherfucker's initials are carved into the tree with. I think the, lightning struck that tree. It might have. I mean, this is a dead tree. Yeah. And you know his initials are on the tree with the no symbol, and everybody's like, you know, like Vaughn's like, you know, he's like he wasn't he wasn't that gullible. He's like. I mean, y'all motherfuckers did that. Y'all quit playing. Y'all did that with a pocket knife or something. And we all started emptying our pockets. Hey, man, I ain't got no pocket knife on me. Ain't nobody got like, And so we all emptied our pockets. We pulled our pockets inside out and shit. Hey, bro, nobody has a knife. I mean, we don't have any way we could have done this. You know, and this looks fresh. Oh, shit. And uh, we look up, and there are fucking vultures. <laughs> I don't know how, <laughs> how this shit happened. That's a coincidence <laughs> of bullshit <laughs> but, is what that is. But there are fucking vultures circling this dead tree. I remember that. I remember <laughs> that. I need some therapy. Let so I need some damn therapy. There are fucking vultures circling this tree, and I'm thinking to myself, how did these motherfuckers pull this shit off? And I look over, and I was like, "Oh shit, Tenchi! I don't know." And I was like, "Damn, Tenchi, Tenchi." What the fuck? And that motherfucker was like, <laughs> Titchy was Titchy's ass was gone, man. This cat, like, all I saw was a smoke cloud in the shape of Titchy. It looked like a fucking Tom and Jerry cartoon. I didn't even know you could move that motherfucker fast. <laughs> you know, okay, some of you that's listening to this podcast, you know how I sneak up on you guys so quickly and and disappear so quickly. This is the day I learned how to do that because I learned how to run on leaves that day without anybody even noticing that I was gone. Shit, man, this cat. This was kind of some rough terrain, like we was saying. You know, the ground wasn't even. There was like all kind of dips into this fucking ravine and shit. You had to hop over that shit. And they did not notice I was gone. Let that sink in for a second. But no, it's like I was still talking to you. I was just like, I know. I looked up. I was like, because we were all looking up at the top of the fucking tree. Where Seeing you, these initials, yes. Yeah. No, we saw the initials of the tree. This was kind of at the base, but there the were vultures, vultures circling. Above, like yeah. there were like buzzards circling the tree. And we look up, and we're all looking up, and just like, how the fuck? Oh shit! This might be Tenchi, and we look Tenchi, and, and all we and like I didn't even see Tenchi's like like all I saw was the back of your foot as you made the corner going back to the campsite. I never even saw you. 
This this motherfucker. This motherfucker never left the campsite the rest of that trip. Well, that one time, well, that that was pretty cool. We all went up to the uh, to that hill, and then we were just kind of. That's another story that we need to talk about. There's there's two more things. And I don't even remember the hill. Okay, there was another. There's two more stories that I got. Well, one story I was told later that that day that mm-hmm. that happened, and then there was another like another, another camp uh, camping trip because we were uh, we were close to the lake uh, mm-hmm. for that one. Um, do you remember the story about the mountain lion that was staying in the cave? I don't remember that one at all. There was a um, excuse me that first uh, that first camping trip we uh, we went on. They were we were going towards some hills, and they they showed me the rock formation where the mountain lion was apparently staying. I don't, I don't know how true that actually was, but uh, we we didn't go near that that rock. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the, what about the story about the uh, the kid that got dragged off by the alligator? Do you remember that one? Yeah, I don't remember that one either. Man, you, you told you some shit they didn't tell me. Uh, yeah. I need some therapy. <laughs> no, I didn't. Alligators and mountain lions. Those sound like real threats in the woods. Like yeah, fucking, a fucking mysterious old man that might drag you off for shining your flashlight in the woods. Kind of sounds like bullshit. And, but, you, um, and you had to say I love white rabbits in order to. I remember that. <laughs> that worked with the smoke though. That was like if you don't want the smoke to blow, you say yeah, I love white yeah, rabbits. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> No, man, I didn't hear anything about alligators in my mind because those sound like real warnings. Those sound like some shit that might actually happen. It was one of the it was one of the guys that uh, had become an Eagle Scout not long after I had joined. Uh, I can't remember his name right now, but uh, hmm. he was telling me that story about this uh, this kid that apparently was uh, had gotten too close to like uh, there's a part farther off in Avondale where there's like just nothing but swamp beyond hmm. there, and uh, the kid had got apparently dragged off by alligator. They just saw when they when they came to find the kid, all they saw was like. The tracks where he had got looked like he had got pulled into the water, and they that, didn't find that kid. That shit could very well have happened. Man. I yeah, I know because there are swamps above there. Yeah. That was a legit story. I was just like, what yeah. the fuck. But anyway, yeah, you know, you go, there, there's bound to be a casualty or two. Nature, mother nature's a motherfucker. I don't know how true that story is, but it sounds legit. It could, no, it, it, it sounds like some shit that could have happened. No. Yeah, but. Um, the mountain lion story sounds legit. Shit, when I got initiated, man, the thing is, you 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 got initiated on a, a weekend camping trip, on a weekend camp out. I got initiated at summer camp. Oh. Yeah, that, I was out. I was Flip out there. For, I was out there for seven days. Oh, that brings out another story. But continue. Yeah, man, my initiation. My summer camp stories. I got fucked with for seven whole days. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me, like, like I have not... That was, like, the year before I joined the thing. This was, this was long before that. I've been there for a couple of years before you joined. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, my first camp out was a week-long motherfucker, you know? This is like, you know, what, you want to go home? There is no home. This is your home now. You want a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> And they, they couldn't, like, they told me the old man Avondale story. Mm. I mean, it, it kept changing, but there was just ba- the same shit stayed basically the same. You didn't have your initials carved into a tree. I did not have my initials carved into a tree. But what I did have Those was, initials are still there, by the way, somewhere. No, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they are. I'm the kid that didn't make it. That's probably <laughs> that's probably what they're telling people now. See those initials? That kid didn't make it. Yeah, man. That old man is crazy, I'm telling you. He's still out there. But uh, no, nah, man, they told me the whole old man Avondale story, and why they like we we uh you know summer camps a little bit different. There's you know because we bring all our own shit for the normal campouts, and it's like you know not I'm not they're not kept or whatever. It's, it's like some cloth tents, you mm-hmm. know, they're like nylon, you know, tents. So they're they're pretty lightweight, and mm-hmm. we have those, and we have some tarps, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I remember. But uh, there were actual structures here. They had tests that they put up for us, you know. And they had they had like these little metal uh structures. It was like a yeah. big you know, big aluminum uh tarp that we cooked under and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean we actually had like a cafeteria area that was like fully covered with people going in and eating whatnot. Well yeah, yeah. But but in our campsite itself there was no, like this, no, yeah. this this metal overhang. Yeah. And so uh, they were telling me the old man Avondale story. And they had my ass so scared that I was just like, um, 
There was one of the the, the, the true moms, you know. It wasn't even my moms, it's somebody else's moms. I am straight straight up sitting on this chick's lap. That's how scared I was. How old was I? I was like, it must have been like nine or ten years old. Actually, no, wait, that's Cub Scouts. I think I started sucking my thumb when I got back to that. Uh, I don't even I know I had to be young. I think I was like 11 years old. And they're telling me the story. And I'm sitting on it. And I straight take this into this lady's lap while they're telling the story. And I don't know if you've ever been in the woods at night, but there's not a lot of, uh, you know, artificial light out there. You mean there's none? So, yeah. There's the the moonlight. That's all you can see. Yeah. And that's if the moon is not. um, So, there not being any artificial light does two things. First, it lets you see the stars and constellations a lot clearer than you could see them. True. You know, if, if you were in the city. True. For example. But it also makes it to where, unless your eyes are just as the darkness, you can't see a goddamn thing. And if you're sitting there staring at a campfire, listening to a ghost story, you can't see more than maybe 10 feet out away from that campfire. So, while they're telling me this story and I'm sitting on this lady's lap, these motherfuckers have, like, the, the older dudes, they have snuck off, and they are right outside my field of vision, because, you know, they're they in the dark, they're hiding in the dark and shit, of course. And so, one of these dudes decides that he's gonna wait, and he, he timed this shit perfectly. I didn't hear the story. So, <laughs> so, they're telling me the story of man Avondale, and they was, go... Was it Donnie? No, this wasn't Donnie. Okay. Either. I'm trying to think who was telling me that story. And it was. Did you know Ephraim? Yeah, I knew you. I think it was Ephraim. It was either Ephraim or. Ephraim <laughs> or uh, I love Ephraim. I love Ephraim. So he, he, he was either Ephraim or. It was, it was somebody. It wasn't Brad, was it? No, it wasn't Brad. Brad didn't really. That, that dude was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brad. Like, that cat was. I, I, I love would, Brad. I wouldn't be surprised if that motherfucker was in jail right now. Brad would. Brad would, Brad would hurt himself on the the trip and just laugh about him. Just like. That's Brad, did you just. Like sprain your ankle? I don't care. <laughs> that was a textbook crazy white boy. He really did not give a fuck. Like that cat. That was, was the original honey badger. We call Kipu the original <laughs> honey badger. No, that is. Shit, that motherfucker is. Yeah. That cat really just didn't give a fuck. But, nah, um, not at all. But no, they're it's telling tame. they're telling me the story, and they're really going on, embellishing on the part where the kid walked in the woods and what he was seeing. It's like he's he's out there and he's looking, and he didn't really see anything, you know. So. You know, he starts to head back to the campsite, but then he hears a scratch behind him. And so he turns back around and he stands his left side in the woods again, and he doesn't see anything. So he, you know, he's 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 scared now, and so he's 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 you know he's slowly making his way back. I like how this story changes, but it's always like pretty much the same kind of. Yeah, so he's he's slowly making his way back to his campsite, and that's when he heard. And right when they said, and that's when he heard one of the dudes that was hiding in the dark. I grabbed this big ass like he was, a, he was a, it wasn't even a stick. This had to be like a tree branch or a log at this point uh-huh. because of the noise that it made. So <laughs> he, but he takes this tree branch and he throws it at the the the, the aluminum like shelter that we had. Uh-huh. And so he's like, yeah. And, and then he heard, and then as right as he says that, the dude throws the stick, and all we heard was, <laughs> oh, oh, it was yeah, like, and, and it's like a big giant log hitting the top of aluminum, and aluminum is a Pretty flimsy metal. Yeah, shit just makes a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah. shit just reverberates, and you heard, all we heard was <laughs> from behind. It's like off to the left, right? And I, I remember I jumped out of this lady's lap over the campfire. I jumped over the shit like I heard all this shit like it was a fucking <laughs> like I was fucking Carl Lewis and shit. <laughs> I fucking like you saw everybody was fucking scared. It wasn't just me. I was. One of the only new dudes on that camp out. Everybody got fucked up by that shit. Yeah. You saw like seven different dudes break out in seven different. What the? F- <laughs> <It's> just like. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Just dump of dust clouds everywhere. I don't know. I kicked this lady. I think I kicked her in the chin as I was getting the ball for Because I was sitting on somebody's lap. And I fucking. I must have elbowed her in the face or something. Because <laughs> I jumped up. Wah! Just like. Just. Broke forward, hurled over the fire and shit. Go just fucking, <laughs> just fucking started. <laughs> just fucking started sprinting. I was doing wind sprints. I didn't know what to do. I could have fucked myself up. I'm in a running in a dark field at night and shit. But uh, with with streams and crevices everywhere. Yeah, you know. 
But that was stepped on a snake. That was night two. I had, I had five more. Five more? Yeah, it was a week long camping trip. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Yeah, so, yeah, I got broke in pretty good, too. But, yeah, you, um, you got You had it pretty bad because you didn't, you know, like, you just, it was a combination of things working against your ass, you know? See, ladies and gentlemen, now you know where, um, I try to put his name on here. Vaughn in the Desert comes from. That can't be tripped years ago. I thought that motherfucker came from the Sahara, man. That's Press- <laughs> Yo, we need to I was over. kidding. Like, shit, How you gonna come from the Sahara? That's not a thing. I was just like, shit, where the fuck you come from? What desert you talking about? The Sahara. Sahara. What? <laughs> Nigga, that's in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Africa. You telling me your auntie goes from Africa? <laughs> yeah. That's why his eyes red. What? Anyway. Um. Vazi, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Vazi. Okay. Yeah. See, I got, I got some, of, I got some camp story too. I don't, I don't know if you remember uh, when we were at the campsite the year that I went to summer camp. Um, there was a, there was a snake at our campsite. I don't know if you remember that. Oh shit, I remember a lot of snakes at our campsite. Um, it's just some. That's one of those things you just deal with. I don't. Wanna, I don't wanna put his name out there. Um, you, you don't believe it out. I, I mean, go ahead. Um, um, Jacob. Mm-hmm. Jacob happened to see it first, and he was he. He just was like, "Oh crap!" And we were all like, what, what, what? Look right there. Oh, and I was like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping on top of the thing. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's and, the, um, yeah, I that, think Mr. Harold um, killed it or whatever. But That is one thing that will turn a bunch of grown men into some bitches, man. We'll see the snake. We're seeing a snake. Because like, cause if you're in civilization and you see a snake, you're just like, oh, shit, I'm walking. I'm not going to go fuck with I, that. I, I'm, I'm going to go around you. And it's, and it's not going to fuck with me. Mr. Snake, you have a good day. You exactly. Yeah, you sure. All right, Mr. Snake, I'm not going to fuck with you. You're not going to fuck with me. I'm just going to go about my business. You go about your business. You're a good man. You yeah, exactly. Hat on. But you, if you were in the woods, you in a snake's home, man. You were a fucking trespasser. You the interloper in this fucking yeah. scenario. And, and the snake is always like, you poking at my property, fucker. And I'm well within my rights to defend myself. What you doing in this neighborhood, boy? Like, what the fuck you doing out here, son? It's don't look like your city. What you doing here, boy? It's don't look like your city, city boy. Why, Mr. Snake, why are you racist? I ain't asked you, I ain't asked you a damn thing. Uh, like, I don't remember asking you a goddamn, goddamn thing. thing, boy. <laughs> now, you going to speak when you're spoken to. Goddamn it. Say what again? <laughs> what you doing out in these goddamn woods, boy? <laughs> Say what again? But no, nah, nah. It wasn't just a snake, though, that... Uh, yeah, that shit will turn a group of Roman into some bitches. You, like, we out there, we, we like, you know, we out there braving the elements, we face the nature and shit, and we just like, yeah, it's, fu- it's fucking right, we're men. And then we see a snake and we're like, ah, ah, ah. Exactly. <laughs> Might as well look up our skirts. Exactly. Um, but, uh, go ahead. It was another thing. Um, oh, you didn't finish telling us about the snake, what happened? No, I think, I think, I think, I think a scout master killed it or whatever. I, I'm pretty sure the snake was dead. Like somebody killed the snake, but whatever. That wouldn't have happened because uh, I mean we we wouldn't have killed it unless it was actually. Maybe they ran it off. I can't remember yeah. too well. I, like I said, I remember, no, I remember. Snake. I had repressed the old man Avondale story. <laughs> I don't know what else I repressed now. No, I definitely <laughs> remember snakes being killed, but it was it was it was crazy motherfucking Danny that did the killing. Like, cause there was a snake. Oh, I remember Danny. There I was, like Danny. There Danny was, was a badass. Danny was crazy. Man. Danny was crazy. He was a badass. But no, nah, there was a there was a snake through the coming through the campsite, and most of the time the don't fuck with it and won't fuck with us. Was Danny always wearing a cowboy hat? Now think about it. Nah, you thinking about Josh? Josh, that's right. Yeah. But, oh, uh, I remember Danny. Okay, okay. Anyway. But no, nah, I mean it was just like, um, you know, there was a snake going through the campsite one time, and usually when a snake is going through the campsite when nobody's there, the snake's gonna realize, oh shit. This don't look like regular woods. There's people here. Get the fuck out of here. Let me get the fuck out of here before I run into one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. And so you leave the snake alone, the snake is going to go about his snake business and just leave you the fuck <laughs> alone. snake business. So, this crazy motherfucker sees the snake in the campsite. He just goes, oh shit, snake! <laughs> he just grabs like a fucking big log, throws it at the motherfucker. The snake's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> exactly. I was about to walk <laughs> off and you throw, you know what? I'm going to bite your dumb ass. But nah, it's, play with me. This log fucked this snake up, man. It's, Let me get my brother out. Fuck this snake. Nah, he grabs <laughs> it. Like, 
I don't know. I mean, you remember seeing Christmas logs and shit? Yeah. This wasn't no Christmas log. This shit had splinters sticking out. This was like a fucking... Yeah. Yeah, this is a big, giant-ass... I, I, I wasn't there for that one, but I remember that story. And I was just like, you know, we were all like, what the fuck? It was leaving. Like, it was almost out the campsite. And he's like, nah, bitch, you're not getting away, mother... Ah! That's, like, that's like you get in an argument with somebody, y'all both disagree, you know, agree to disagree, you walk off, and then you take a rock and throw it at them. That's yeah. the equivalent of that. It's a homo. The snake had his back turned. That ain't he right. He wasn't defending himself. That, that ain't right. <laughs> but, uh, That's nah. literally throwing a rock at somebody after y'all finished the argument. But, nah, he threw this log at this snake. Uh-huh. And he got a clean hit, man. This shit fucked, like, the, 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 the snake was, like, you know, like, there was, there was holes in this snake. Like, the fucking, oh. like, like, this shit, like, I didn't know snakes bled. Like actually had red blood until you know I thought they were cold. That day. I thought they were cold blooded you know and they are cold blooded they're cold blooded but, but they're, they can yeah, blood yeah, just yeah like they bleed we do. just like yeah they bleed just like we do and this snake was it puts things in perspective doesn't it sure sure okay anyway but this snake was fucked up there there was there was gashes in this snake but it was still alive it wasn't dead yet mm. and this was a king snake. Oh. I like king snakes. And, yeah, king snakes thing, are cool. Yeah, the thing about it, king snakes, king snakes, they, they aren't lethal. Right. They'll bite you and it'll hurt. They're not poisonous. Right. And they kill rats. Right. So, I like king snakes. So they do a couple good things, but this this dude just got scared. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hell no, nah, snake. You came in the wrong neighborhood today, son. Yeah, I'm about to show you about how, I'm about to show you how we get it done in 127, boy. What, what? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Snake just was just like, Oh shit, I came in the room. He's like, Snake's like, oh shit, I think there's people here. Let me get the fuck up out of here before somebody's. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah. yeah so, so we ended up having to kill that snake to put it out of his misery. Put it out of his misery. Yeah, and uh, one of the older dudes did the honors, man. And um, I don't know if you ever used a shovel to kill a snake before. But um, yeah, that, that shit doesn't happen clean. It's not a clean cut. It's not. I know. A, no, it's not a it's not a blade. So we we had to basically go like mi- medieval France where they had like the guillotines and shit. We had to fucking put the point of a spade on top of the snake's head and just step on the shit until the fucking until it cut sever, the yeah. Blood was going on. Or... Yeah, man. That's actually pretty cool when I think about it. Yeah, but the, see that that's like people. Y'all y'all think we making this up? We're not. Yeah, I remember seeing little Danny get his that. Like him and his older brother, man, they were both parts. They were both members of the troop, and he just didn't like his older brother. Like he was, he was like he had a cl- classic, classic inferiority complex. He just didn't like this motherfucker because he just felt like he was always being all shine. He was always trying to, you know, one up the dude. And I like, I like both of them. That's why I'm like, why are y'all fighting like this? And so when he, when he killed, when like he had to, you know, when he threw this log, older brother's like, man, why the fuck did you do that? It was leaving. It was. It wasn't going. Like, ah, oh, see, now we got to, and that was the same Captain Trill where uh, Danny Nani got into that like straight up brawl. You know, they. This I little dude. This. this little dude came at his older brother with like a broom. Like, and I don't know if he thought he was just gonna be like a broom samurai and shit because he was right. he was wielding this shit like it was a fucking sword. <laughs> like he was brave for then just just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> you may take. You may take my snake, but you will not take my freedom. And it's like fucking, he's, sw- he's swinging that shit hard as a motherfucker. And his older brother, like, it's a broomstick, so. <laughs> I mean, if you, like, if somebody actually, this is this is just a pro tip from here, Johnny, to the audience, the listening audience. Uh-huh. If somebody's ever invading your home, if, if you're really trying to defend yourself, don't, don't pick up a broomstick. Those shits are flimsy. And so this cat is swinging this shit hard as hell at his older brother. It just takes too much time to swing a broom. I'd rather use my fist. No, nah, no, he's swinging a broom. He's actually he's got the straw handle. He got the he's got it by the straw part. So he's swinging the wooden part. Right. But it's still a broomstick. That still takes too much time. No, it doesn't take too much time. It's the fact that when you hit him somebody with it, it doesn't do that much damage. Right. So the old brother just hit, kinda blocked the shit and the broomstick snapped. King. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it hurt probably. I'm sure. But, but it was just like I ah, see now he, you little bitch you fucked up now. He got rid of the broom. You exactly. ain't got no motherfucking broom no more. And he just got his little ass beat. Cool, cool, cool. 
Cool, cool. <laughs> and he went running into the trailer, which was probably the stupidest thing he could have did. We had these little trailers where we carried all the supplies out. He ran into the trailer. His older brother ran after him, and he says, I there's no escape now, bitch. And you, know, you start, start, started seeing the trailer rock like in one of those cartoons and shit. <laughs> no, you saw just like... You saw Billy Hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But no, when he ran inside the trailer, that was a wrap. It got fucked up. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's 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 the snake story. Do you remember the uh? Do you remember the the horse squads that used to follow you through the woods for no reason? Those were June bugs, actually. No, I was getting followed by horse flies. No, see, I didn't have that happen. The year I was there, I was getting followed by horse flies. They used to hate walking from the campsite to the. Uh, Did you ever get bitten? Yeah, at least twice every single day. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they like. I got bit in the cafeteria once. Out of everybody else, there was like a hundred people in the freaking cafeteria, and my ass is the only one that gets bit. From that day on, I hated I hated horse flies. I'm like Aaron in Attack on Titan when it comes to horse flies. He's like, fuck it. If I see a horse fly, I fly into a freaking rage. I'm not even joking about that right now. I killed every one of you motherfuckers. You saw how he was looking with his, you know, when he was like, I'm I'm, I swear I'm gonna kill all Titans. I swear I'll kill all horse flies. <laughs> I am getting so freaking mad right now. I, yeah, out of everything else in the world, I hate a horse fly. I I will burninate every single horse fly in this in this on this planet if I have to. We're down, let me let, let's let's take it back a peg. You know, I'm you, sorry. I'm sorry. You, I, you're I, getting, I, you're I, lost, I'm, I'm a, I went out of character for a second. You, I'm sorry. You're now getting, y'all know. You're getting very passionate about the fact that you hate horse flies, but uh. Nah, man. I got told some fucked up shit about the June bugs, you know. About the June bugs. June bugs, they're just, they're big stupid insects, you know. They just, yeah, they fly, they fly around your, your your lamps at the house and, yeah, and just swing at them. They just, just, you know, just, it don't really die, they just, they get hit. Stupid, they yeah. Dumb, they, they just bump into you. Get the fuck off me, dude. Well, I don't know if you knew this about June bugs, but they can only fly in one direction. They can only move forward. I don't mean, know that. I mean, they could take different... Yeah, angles and different iterations of forward, but they can't really change angles like a lot of flyers can. They can't, you know, go backwards or upside down or go up or down. They can only go forward. Uh-huh. And um, heard some fucked up shit that if um, that there there have been incidents where June bugs have gotten wedged in somebody's ear. And I remember you told me that now. Oh, I'm having it, another flashback. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and since, oh no! And since and since they can only go forward. Uh, they like when they get caught in a narrow passage like uh, your ear. They they. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. no, I don't uh, want to deal with this right they, now. They, this insect can only fly forward. They they get in your ear and they get trapped there, and so they're still trying to fly forward, and they're burying deeper and deeper into your ear canal. Uh, and so you're trying to pull the shit out. And it's trying to fight against you. It's trying to escape. So it's just going further and further into your And so they, they, they mean, I don't know how true that is, but they say that, um, that, 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 that hey, I'm, hey, I've gotten a Q-tip lodged in my ear before. I, I don't want a bug in there at this point. Yeah, man. They, they say this is just like, it's, it's kill motherfuckers. They're like, you know. Cause it just made it all the way to the brain. You know? Okay, that's not true. I don't believe that shit at all. Yeah, neither do I, but I'm pretty sure that could do some permanent inner ear damage. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And I'm sure it's happened. Yeah. Not with, not just with them. Probably any beetle. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. Could be worse. The June bugs could bite. Yeah, they don't bite. They, they just claw, yeah. I'd rather them any day than one of those uh, Hercules beetles or something. Uh, you know, the beetles didn't really bother me as much. It was really the shit that could sting you. Yeah, it was it was lost. It was Wasps and fucking hornets and shit. Yeah, yeah, but hornets was the one that always fucked with me back in the day. Really? Hornets. I have a vendetta against yellow jackets too, by the way. But that's that's a story for another time. The thing about hornets is, man, they don't ever roll alone. They always roll with a bunch of their buddies. This is true. They and like wasps will sting you to defend yourself, and wasp and hornets are the only insects that can sting you multiple times. Yeah, because they, they like replace their stingers, I mean. No, they don't replace their stingers. They just don't their stingers aren't barbs, so they don't leave their stinger Ah, okay, okay. They just deliver venom and keep stinging you repeatedly. Gotcha. Uh, the thing about the difference between wasps and the hornets is wasps 
when wasps get far enough away from their hive, they just they 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 don't I wouldn't say lose interest, but they'll they'll just go back to their hive. They're they're really just defending their territory. Yeah, hornets are some angry, vengeful motherfuckers. They will follow you until they kill you. You sure that was not killer bees, right? Cause no, killer bees. Because killer bees will follow you as long as they have to. Now, killer bees range is about a mile, actually. Okay. No, wait, no, it's not a mile. They, there was some, they, they put a figure on it. About half a mile, something like that. It was like half a mile or a mile or something like that. And if you run that far in a straight line away from the nest, then killer bees will go, you know, they'll give up to Hornets, hornets will just, uh, they, they will just keep following you until they, until they, you know, until they, until you stop moving. Right. And the thing about that, uh, another thing about hornets that differentiates them from other insects is that, uh, if you jump in water to avoid, uh, you know, wasp, or, they, they go on about their business. They, they'll go back to what they were doing. Hornets will wait until you surface and then they'll sting you again. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> bitch, you gotta come up sometime. Like, bitch, you, bitch, I know you in there. You got to come up for air sometime. Ter- ter- Terrence Howard Hornets. <laughs> bitch, bitch, you gotta come up at some point, you Bitch, know? I know you got to breathe, motherfucker. I'm gonna be right here waiting on you guys, man. I'm about to, yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, no. Hornets, actually, Hornets and Killer Bees are the only two in six that would do that, that I know of. That is insane. They would just wait you out. I, I don't care enough to follow somebody that for. Yeah, well, Hornets do Apparently. Yeah, so yeah, and then hornets are like some Jurassic Park insects. They're big. You ever seen the hornets? Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen those Japanese hornets? Uh-huh. The size of my index finger. I'm not even joking about that. Yeah, and these stingers are all, like stingers are like a third of their body. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine them packing them up for you. Like, boy, I would. I, you know what, man? That is like some. You ever you remember the movie Jumanji when yeah, they had the big ass giant ass insects? That is exactly what I think of when I think of hornets. Oh, I'm just full like. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that, man. Yeah. Nah, it's, if it's gonna be me and some hornets, man, I'm gonna have to. I will fucking get ready. Like, I will prepare for that shit like I'm prepping for a zombie pockets. I will shotgun some goddamn hornets. I'm gonna some 3D maneuver here. On some hornets. <laughs> Attack on hornets. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> that horn's smaller than here. Why is he using 3D maneuver gear? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, uh. I never had. To, I never actually got attacked by hornets. I got attacked by a lot of things in the woods, but the hornets wasn't one of them. Mm. Had like a barracuda, a bar, a, a caribou. I can't speak it right now. Had like a barracuda gar. Uh, alligator gar. Alligator gar. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it actually, yeah, it, it was called a, a alligator gar, mm-hmm. but they're related to barracudas. Yes, they are. And this thing didn't look like alligator. This thing looked fucked up like the skull on this shit. Because we killed it. Gars are terrifying. Yeah. Gar- alligator gars are terrifying. You ever been in the water with one swimming in? No. Uh-huh. Where were y'all where there was alligator gar? We, we were in the lake. Y'all in one of those, oh, wait, yeah. they're in the lake? This Fuck, was- I swung in that lake. Yeah, we were in the lake. We were swimming by the dock and I saw this shit in the water. Ain't this a thing. And I swear I ran on water getting out of there. Well, but you did. Yeah. Actually, uh, go home, Steve. There was a, uh, there was, we heard, uh, you know, it, it turned out that they found a cotton mouth in there too. A watermelon I, m- I remember the story about the cotton mouth. But uh, yeah, and, uh, if you don't know anything, about we it, saw that cotton mouth. We were, were we, were we like chasing that thing, or he was chasing us? I can't remember which which was. I, I know I wasn't chasing it, so it must have been chasing me. <laughs> I think we were looking for it, and then it started coming around at us, and we were just fun. <laughs> All that in the cafeteria. Shit, that that mother, no. See, water moccasins are very poisonous. I know they are. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a king snake. That's not the friendly motherfucking snake. That snake will fuck you up. Right. Snake will end your shit. Yeah. So yeah. That that's what we grew up with. We 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 seen some action. We've been at war with some snakes and small men in the woods. We see shit. And that was even we, before nine eleven. Let me tell you something. I seen some shit. Uh-huh. You ever had to deal with an alligator guard? No. <laughs> you ever had to deal with a king snake or a cottonmouth motherfucker? You ain't seen shit yet. Guys, this was like 1998, 99, by the way, when all this stuff was going on. What the fuck have you dealt with? Call of Duty? Fuck Call of Duty. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> 
your kids got it easy. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> you ever played Def Jam? No, of course you freaking didn't. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry, anyway. So, yeah, I have... Um, I've definitely enjoyed this little trip down memory lane here. You know, I feel like I resurfaced some old memories. You probably, probably rather left locked, but um, it's all for the ratings, man. Everybody, everybody wants to know my, about my past, and I tell people, no, you don't. No, you don't want to. Some things that are best left there. You got to know about your past. I know you do. Yes. <laughs> and I will. You know what? If you want to know about your past, just come ask Johnny. No. Or, or ask my sister, but no. He'll, he'll tell you about the shit. Actually, his sister probably knows more than I do. Yeah. yeah I, still, I still get tripped out about the time she was mad at me because uh, 